already was popping. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically how to reduce FPS drops and lag drops and Zelda the Tears of the Kingdom on the Ryu Jinx emulator. Now, after a couple of minutes messing around with uh, certain settings on the Ryu Jinx emulator, um, comparing it to the usual emulator, if you have a low end PC build, at this current moment as I'm recording this video, the Ryu Jinx emulator is, is a little bit more stable. It's to the point that it's kind of way better to play the game on the Ryu Jinx emulator. I'm gonna showcase you guys the settings that I use to basically um, get less FPS drops and lag. So first things first, you can go to um, options, settings, system, and one of the most important thing that you have to do is if you have um, VSync enable, disable it. That's that's one of the most important things you can do. Um, you can basically have the same settings here. I think this doesn't matter too much. The only thing you need to change in system is um, VSync. Just this, this, disable it due to the fact that if you use VSync, it's more preferably for a stronger PC. But even if if you um, disable VSync, you get um, better gameplay. So after that, graphics backend. I just leave that to auto. Graphics um, backend. It might you might have um, you might have it to Vulcan. It's better to set it to OpenGL. Now I know that certain people for their certain PC build that's not AMD. They have an Nvidia. They, they, they put it in certain settings for it to work on Vulkan, but I I can't seem to find the perfect settings that you can use for the Ryu Jinx emulator with Vulkan. Usually you can get away with it a little bit, but with Ryu Jinx, I, for some reason, can't find the best settings for a low-end PC if you're using Vulkan. And, and Vulkan is more preferably for people who have an AMD graphics card, and then OpenGL is for people who have an NVIDIA. Um, Obviously, enable the shader cache is is better to have shader cache on because um, the more you play it, the more experience you will get. You get less lag. That's one of the common universal rules. Resolution always put it um, at the lowest two x, or you can go native um, 720 1080p. But I like to go two x. Um, processing on um, post processing effect, I just leave that to none. Upscale, I usually leave that to nearest. You may not have that nearest at first. I think it was going to be like, um, I think it was going to be either be these two, but you have to leave it to nearest. Um, this is going to be on auto automatically, I believe. And the aspect ratio, I think this is going to be four by three, but if not, you got to change it to four by three. So I have to do that. You save. That's and another way. You can improve your experience and reduce lag and FPS drops. You can left click here, go to the video control panel. This is an old classic way that I used back in the day. I think like two years ago, I used to use it, use this um type of method, and I still use it today. Um, you go on the first the first tab, and then you're gonna put it to performance. Basically, apply that. You basically picking performance over quality. And then you go to the third, the, um, the third tab, use your graphics card, manage 3D settings, use the high um, performance NVIDIA processor. Make sure you have the same settings as me or mess around with these settings to see if you can improve your experience with less lag and FES drops, program settings. You must basically mess around with this too. And then you basically press add. Right, you jinx right here, add this selected program. You apply right here. And then you basically close it and you're all set to go. Um, that's pretty much it. Now comparing by comparing this with the using Ryu Jinx emulator. The Ryu Jinx, um, the emulator itself, when playing Tears of the Kingdom, is more stable than the usual emulator. But over time, they both want to be just as stable as each other. 
but it takes time. This is a new title, but I'm pretty sure over the um, next couple of months that this game is going to be more stable for both emulators. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And, yeah, guys, this is your boy, Ray Tone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.